All right, everybody. You know what time it is. It's cooking mama time. Yeah, that's right. It's fucking cooking mama time. All right? And I have some treats for you all. Oh my God, do I have some treats for you. I hope you're fucking ready. Oh, I seriously hope that you're ready. Oh, this is gonna be so good, ready? Okay, so welcome to Cooking Mama. Cooking Mama, where we go and watch the most putrid, disgusting pu cooking videos that you can possibly imagine, and then occasionally watch not bad cooking videos to clarify. And let me tell you something. Let me just tell you, we have missed a lot since our last Cooking Mama segment. And goodness gracious, let me show you what we have missed. We have some treasures to choose from, okay? Let's take a look. We've got bacon and hominy on Dave's cooking show. We've got spoon, frisky spoon. bullshit. We've got the yellow pepper pesto. We've got the tuna club. We've got vanilla chocolate chip cookies. We've got the secret bacon burger. We've got cheese balls, and we've got the Pizza Hut bacon mac and cheese. And I think we're going to start with the frisky bullshit. I think we're going to start with the frisky bullshit. Look, we haven't done Cooking Mama in two weeks. Why is my chat frozen? Oh, oh, I know why. Hold on. I know why it is. Sorry. There. Chat. Chat, you have been brought back to life. There we go. There we go. Are we ready? Let's do this. Let's watch the frisky bullshit. Hey, thank you for the subscription. Deeply appreciate it. That was my Discord, Nodi. This is a little snack mix I came up with called Frisky Bullshit. And okay. So... Oh, he might know why my screen is flickering? Okay, I'd like to I'd like to know that. Can you tell Tech Debt to, to, to uh, DM me? It's too quiet? Okay, I'll turn it up. Here we go. And first, we got to mix the spice mix together. So you want to start off with six tablespoons of melted butter. Of course. Add to that one of tablespoon of chili powder, a quarter teaspoon of garlic. Are you getting flickering audio? This is a great episode of Blue's Clues. Oh, it's a quarter teaspoon of dried oregano, a quarter teaspoon of paprika, two teaspoons of ground cumin, and a teaspoon each of salt and pepper. Okay. Then, you want to add the other ingredients. Okay. Oyster crackers. This is... Pretzels. I want to know... That was my Discord. Yeah, I don't know why it beeped. I don't know why it beeped. I know why it beeped. I figured out why it beeped. Oh my god, I figured out why it beeped. Hold on a second. I can fix this. I can fix this. Hold on, I can fix this. I know why it beeped. I can do this. I can fix this. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Yes! I fixed it! I think I fixed it! Okay, I don't know that this is gonna- I don't think this is gonna fix the, um, my audio issue, but this will do something else. Yes, 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 I got it! I got it! I got it, Elac. I got it, Elac. Okay? Let's do this. Let's continue. So, I want us to point out something. Notice that Dave added salt to this, okay? There is pretzels in here. There is oyster crackers. There is cheese it, cheese fish in here, and he added salt. One cup of oyster. Do you know how salty this fucking shit is? Why on earth would you need to add salt to salted pretzels, salted oyster crackers, and salted cheese fish? That is unbelievable. Oyster crackers? One cup of pretzels, three cups Parmesan goldfish, three cups cheddar extra goldfish, and one cup of Cheez-Its. After that, give it a toss, and once you find that's too difficult, just grab a spoon 
and give it a good stir. Okay, now I want to make another note, okay? I want to make another note of this. These are snacks that are already cooked in butter. These are pre-baked, pre-salted, pre-seasoned, pre-buttered snacks that he is now coating again with both salt and butter. This is going to, this is, this is, this will kill you. Good night, no redux. Let's continue. Okay, and after they're all mixed up, uh, you want to have uh, preheated the oven to 250 degrees. Then on a parchment lined baking sheet, the parchment paper is optional, but it makes cleanup one whole hell of a lot easier. True. Okay, he's right it's about that though. He is right about that. The parchment paper, the cooking paper, uh, the cooking paper is very helpful. Good night. Good night, Ranch Panda. Um, yeah, yeah. The parchment paper is a great way. Not only does it, not only will it make your pans last longer, but it does make cleanup way easier. Like way, way easier. So he's he's right about that. You know, credit where credit is due, everybody. Credit where credit is due. Okay. Right where you buy the aluminum foil costs about three dollars. Stop being a fucking loser and get yourself some goddamn parchment paper and save yourself. Some <laughs> okay, I mean, I can't disagree with him on that. Fucking time. And when he, you want to spread these out and then pop them in that 250 degree oven we were talking about and bake for 20 minutes. Okay, and through the magic of cooking show editing, the 20 minutes has elapsed, and all you got to do is just put it in a big serving bowl. Perfect for holidays or parties or big games or whatever. Frisky bullshit. Done. I'm unimpressed. I'm, I'm unimpressed. Honestly, I'm unimpressed. I think that if I was served that much salt, I would be worried that my friend was trying to kill me. But that, was, um, that wasn't particularly great. Shall we check out the tuna club? I have a feeling this one's going to be very, very misogynist. Let's find out, shall we? Let's do it. Okay, fair enough, Silent. Fair enough. It was 2% below the lethal Okey dose. Okie dokie. Welcome to Dave's Cook and Show You. And for you today, I have basically my version of a souped up tuna fish sandwich, tuna salad sandwich, tuna club, whatever oh you want to call it. Um, so we start off with about five. Is that, are those cooked cicadas? What are those? Okay, guesses, everyone. Guesses. Quickly, guesses. Is that sweet potatoes? Is that fried roaches? Is that burnt onions? Or is it something else entirely? Yeah, is it rat shit that he gathered off the ground? Sweet potatoes? Mushrooms? Why would you put mushrooms in burnt croutons? Nah, they were too rubbery. Beets? It could be onions. But, okay, onions would make sense, but why are they so disgustingly dark? Steak chunks? Do you think maybe it's like really crappy bacon bits? Wasps? All right, let's find out. Let's find out. I have cans, uh, about 50 ounces of albacore tuna. About 12 slices of bacon that you can see I've... That is supposed to be bacon? That does not... There is... What the fuck? It looks like wood chips. How is that bacon? Is it faking? Bad lighting? I don't think so. I'm worried about this bacon. Pretty much uh, chopped up, fried up, and nice and crispy. A half a cup okay. of chopped parsley. Four dill pickles that I diced up. And at some point, you're, you should get a tablespoon of dill pickle juice... But usually the um, 
pickles will be juicy enough. But just keep that in mind. You do want a little bit of pickle juice. Then about a cup. That's what bacon looks like when you deep fry it in a pan or in butter? Really? I don't think so. Really? It's a lot of mayo. Dill pickle with mayo is gross. Okay, when it's mixed in with tuna, it's fine. Is Dave okay? Dave is... No, no. Louis Vuitton, Dave is not okay. We know that much. We know Dave is not okay. We, we know that. Do, does anybody... Oh, nobody knows this. By the way, real quick side story for this, okay? You know that this guy... This guy went on Chud Logic's show and called him the F-slur like six times? Like, not kidding you. Dave is not okay. Dave went on to have a debate with Chud Logic. And Dave went on to have a debate with Chud Logic and got drunk and then called Chud the, the F slur like four or five times. Yeah, I'm not kidding you. That actually happened. You can watch it. It's up on Chud's channel. Dave, yes. Unfortunately, I think Dave might be, uh, as they say, an ultra alcoholic. D D Dave literally like shit face drunk. Abs just call, like and and oh and there was a second debate too there was a second debate on chud's channel it was very funny you can watch both of them they're up on chud's they're up on chud's youtube but it was really good i just i just figured uh i just figured oh his debate skills are horrible he gets increasingly drunk until he's literally burping into the he he will literally burp directly into the mic he'll just be like you're you're dumb you're dumb it's so bad oh my god I'm so ready. Okay, let's continue. Anyway, that was the side story. There was the side story. Let's continue. Shall we? Or to taste of mayonnaise. Also, what you're not seeing is we're going to add a um, tomato to this, too. You should have a sliced tomato all ready to go in the uh Fascist Homer Simpson trail. And why in the hell I used a knife to mix this, I do not know. Good, good, good question. But you just want to mix uh, this up. By the way, this is a great recipe if you've never made anything uh, before in your life. This is, you know, something to start on. Okay. And then be like me and get really pissed okay, off. Okay, this is what I'm wondering here. Again, why is he searching around for his utensil? Just do another take. Just do another take. He does this all the time. Oh, oh my god, he does this all the time. He just leaves the most the he's the laziest video producer ever. He he could have just done a second take. He could have just had the tools ready, but he didn't. Yeah, there's the Chud Logic debate. It's authentic? That's not authentic. That's fucking lazy. That's lazy. You can't find a goddamn uh spoon. So basically, just give this a mix, adding more mayo as you need it. Remember, you can add more, but once it's in there, it's a pain in the ass to take it out. And we're looking for something like Dude, that. come on. He This is another thing that he does. He always spills it all over the place. And in this one, he just stuck his fucking thumb in there like he's fucking putting his thumb in a pie. What the fuck? Look at this. Dude, be careful. You've made a hundred of these videos. Be fucking careful, dude. That. I decided on white bread for this, but you can certainly use whatever you like. Nice rye, pumpernickel. I just chose white bread for this. And you want to add a generous amount to your liking. Okay. Of this. Okay. That'll about do it for me. Couple of slices of tomato and of course. Wait, hold on. Watch. Hold on. Wait. Something entered here. Hold on a second. Watch the background, everybody. Watch this corner. Watch this corner. Watch. something. I just noticed something. Watch. That'll about do it for me. Couple of slices something moves. of tomato. Dave has a cat. Oh, no. Dave has a cat. Oh, no. What does he feed his cat? Oh, God, no. And, of course, salt and pepper. Okay, and then I just add a slice of medium cheddar cheese. Put the top piece of bread on. And I'm done. Tuna club, done. You could certainly toast this up if you like. And make a tuna melt, but I just decided not to this time. So, done. 
What? I feel cheated. That was lazy even for Dave. That was fucking lazy even for Dave. Holy shit, dude. You didn't even toast it? What the fuck? All right, well, on to the next episode. All right, on to the next episode. Don't, listen. <laughs> don't say I, I, look, don't say I didn't tell you that they were lazy. Let's try. Let's find out what the ba secret bacon burger is. I want to find out. Welcome to Dave's Cooking Show, and for you today, we have a secret bacon burger. Now, why the fuck is it so secret? Well, oh, you boy. see, before I started filming this episode, I ground some bacon and mixed it in with the burger meat. Uh, approximately two pounds of burger meat to one pound of bacon. Easiest way to grind bacon is just run it through a food processor, pulse it about you know, five to ten times, whatever consistency you want. And uh, you'll be jamming. I did that last night, uh, the day before I filmed this, uh, to allow the flavors to blend. I also added about a tablespoon and a half of ground okay. powdered quick, quick thing. Quick thing, real quick, okay? See how he's putting his meat directly on the glass here? That is not good. That is not good, okay? You should put a piece of parchment paper on there. Because this... You will either have to take the glass off of your scale every time or to wash it, or he's leaving meat residue on there in between. And we know how he treats his grill. As we all know, he's never cleaned his grill. It is just covered in putrid grease, which would indicate that this is probably covered in putrid, in the putrid leftovers of previous cooking experiments. Yeah, the meat residue adds flavor and also disease. Hockey mushrooms to this. So, yeah, I wanted to give the flavors a chance to blend. And, of course, I mixed everything together in my uh, KitchenAid mixer, popped it in a bowl, put it in Shiitake the fridge. Shiitake mushrooms? And it's ready for the next day. You can do it earlier than that, but I kind of want to. Dude, no, 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 uh, no, 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 no. Okay, he's doing it here. Look at this. Right here. Okay, this is a food scale, Okay. Do not do this day. to your food scale. Don't you do that. Do you will break. He has busted his food scale. When you, If you're pushing down on your food scale, you're going to break it. A food scale is literally designed for incredibly minor measurements. And he's putting his fucking hand down on top of it. Don't do that. Don't fucking do that. Don't do that. I'm serious. Don't do it. Earlier than that, but I kind of wanted uh, a chance for the flavors to blend. Now... Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm ripping off pieces to form six ounce uh, balls. They should be about balls. the size of a baseball, I think. Okay. And he has parchment paper. Why wasn't he using it with the scale? And uh, docking you. Ten points from Gryffindor. Make, uh, let's make a patty. This is my favorite way to make a burger patty. Put a ball in between two pieces of parchment paper. And use a dinner plate, actually, to smash down. And you should get a nice uh, nice patty like this. You might have to play around with the edges right, a enough. bit. But, yeah. Fair. All right. Fair enough. Uh, that's pretty much this. We'll see. Aristocracy, no, this is not going to make you hung hungry. This is going to make you sick to your stomach. I'm very sorry. Season these before they go on the grill and then season them uh, once they're on the grill. So, um, yeah, let's go to the grill. Oh, one important thing. You have to use parchment paper for this technique because if you don't, basically your burger meat will stick to the goddamn plate like glue. Okay, on a grill that's hotter than the halls of hell. What did I tell you about the grill? Look at how putrid it is. Look, I need to move my camera. Hold on, watch this. Wait, ah, that's the wrong thing. I grabbed the wrong thing. Look, look at how putrid it is. It's so putrid. 
Oh my god, it's so fucking putrid. Oh god, look, it's it's ugh, it's disgusting. Oh god, there's chunks all over it. He never cleans it. All that he does. Oh god. All you need to do is scrape this once in a while. Oh, it's so filthy. This is not this Okay, listen. I'm going to I'm going to explain something to you, okay? Hold on. I'm going to do you a favor. Ready? Watch this, okay? Hold on. Listen. Okay? Scrape your fucking grill. I promise you, your health will increase. It will make just it takes two seconds. You use a wire brush or a scraper, scrape the grill. You will thank yourself forever. You will be consuming considerably less rot severely rotten meat. Okay. Eating off a grill like Dave's is unironically, that's like drinking the sarcophagus juice. Okay? It's like drinking the fucking sarcophagus juice. It's this is this is putrescent meat that's been baking out in the sun through the seasons. It's seasoned. It, it may as well be sarcophagus juice. What's the sarcophagus juice? Well, there you go. You'll find out someday. Let's continue. It's time to cook the burgers. And yes, before anyone says it, lump charcoal is probably the best option, but. I was being fucking lazy. Jesus fucking Christ. The burgers are still delicious. We know. We know. I'm not a charcoal purist. It. I will concede, though, it's a little better. Um, fair. Fair. But what I'm seasoning them up here with is just a, uh, just a Chipotle burger seasoning that my local grocery store makes in-house. So, um, but you can use whatever seasoning. You He's want. stealing the seasoning from his local burger place. Or make your own. Oh, Eris, Eris, that's why I'm here. The The first part that's wrong, the first part that's wrong. Okay, let me explain what's wrong with this image, okay? I'm going to explain it for you, okay? First, this grill is putrid. This will kill you. This is not good for you. This is very, very bad for you. Clean your grill. Do not allow bits and pieces of, of, of thousand-year-old seasoned raw meat to enter your gullet. Do not do it, okay? Second, yes, he is he is cross-contaminating. He does this in every video. He cross-contaminates like a motherfucker. Third, what is this? He's not even using the grill space effectively. This is the worst burger placement I've ever seen. You could much more easily and more effectively distribute these. He just flopped them on there, okay? Also, not to, not to go too far, but... This flame looks very uneven, and I'm going to tell you why. Chances are, he's we know he's never cleaned this grill. But what probably happened is down here, this is a uh, this is a um, propane grill. Okay, this is a this is a propane grill. Realistically, he cooks on here, and the grease drips down, and it clogs the propane outlets, meaning that only the front of the grill right now, the only place you can see flames. I don't see flames anywhere else. That probably means the propane nozzles are clogged with grease. That's not good. That's not good. There you go. Let's continue. Own, of course. But I really like the uh, seasonings this place makes. So that's why I use them. Okay. And, uh... Give these burgers a couple of minutes to cook. And uh, probably be about 10 or so minutes. Remember, this time you do have to go to 165 because of the bacon in there. So, Okay, right. another, another critique. There is a dead bug right over here. And there's a bunch of bird shit all over this. Do you not think... That he could have just wiped this off before filming a cooking video. Dead bug, bird shit. On a, he's filming this. Just wipe it off with a fucking Clorox wipe. For God's sake. This It's so filthy. And the dead bug. That's disgusting. All right, we should be back. Um... I'm being unreasonable? Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, they're all wrapped up. Okay, and through the magic of cooking show editing, these burgers are done. 
And the cheese I used uh, was one slice of pepper jack, one slice of American. And so wait, what yeah. happened to the other burgers? Did they just burn? There's only four. What happened to the other burgers? Did they fall through? Did they fucking fall through the grill? There's more fire. Maybe these down. Oh, look at how uneven the fire is. You can see how uneven it is. Look, there's just random spurts of fire. This shit is clogged down here. Oh my God. Oh my Good fucking God. Show editing these burgers are done. And the cheese I used uh, was one slice of pepper jack, one slice of American. And yeah, pretty much that's it. All right, let's take them in the house. All right, got the burger ready to go. Uh, you can see you got a nice toasted bun there. Some butter lettuce on the bottom bun. Burger on top of that. Some nice pieces of fried salami. That is burnt salami, first of all. That is burnt salami. But secondly, hmm. And, of course, uh, we need some pickles on this son of a bitch. But first, we need to add a dollop of mustard mayonnaise. Uh, that's okay. just a combo Fair. of, uh, coarse Fair. mustard and mayonnaise mixed together. Fair. Really simple. I believe I've done a couple recipes with that in there, so check out my older videos. Do you think Dave knows that I react to his channel? I don't know. He might. He might. I doubt it, though. Dave is not a particular... Listen, I know this doesn't come as a surprise, but Dave is not a very smart man. I don't know that he pays attention to this type of stuff. He did get really mad at me once. I was trolling him in his chat once. He was doing this... Um, He was... Oh, oh yeah. I was trolling Dave in his chat once a long time ago. He was doing a segment, like, making fun of, like, this trans person online. He was just, like, making fun of this random... This, like, random kid. Like, like I'm talking, like, a 14-year-old, like trans person was like doing this um this like little vlog and they were like hi i'm 14 and i'm trans and blah 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 and then he like literally was just just fucking stumbling drunk trying to shit on this kid and i was like just i went in there and i got started getting him really mad and he started fucking screaming at chat at, at chat i was just egging him on and he got so mad that he was just like fuck it and then he, he turned off um he ended up turning off his stream i'm not kidding you you're not a true leftist until you eat Dave's cooking for 60 days straight and live. Well, he's reacted about actual Jake. Yeah, he knows Chud Logic has. Well, yeah, he debated Chud Logic. Yeah, the beans. Oh my God, I should challenge him to a cook off. If he stopped cooking, yeah, probably. I mean, I don't know. I don't I, look. The comments on these videos are kind of funny. Hey, thank you, Grim. I appreciate that. For that. And then just add a couple of Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. I forgot. He challenged Chud Logic to a beans and toast cook off. Yeah, he challenged Chud Logic to a beans and toast cook off. So good. That was such a great, a great. So after his debate with Chud Logic, this guy posted about Chud Logic for a week. Solid. Like, a week solid. All he did was to post about Chud Logic. He was so fucking mad. It was hilarious. I'm not kidding you. Still no pickles. Pickles and that's it. Secret bacon yeah, burger. Yeah, Fred Fred. You got a lot. There's a lot of fun Done. stuff. Today was a bomb, a bomb ass stream. It was good as fuck. Oh, that was abrupt. That was abrupt. Oh, God, his videos have become so abrupt. He's really just phoning it in. He's just phoning it in now. Should we watch the cheese balls? Let's, let's, let's fall, let's watch the cheese balls. Yeah, there's a new K, too. Yeah, we're gonna do K's cooking after this. Okay, today on Dave's Cooking Show, I'm going to teach you how to save some money by teaching you how to make a basic cheese ball. Of course, I'll probably expand on this in the future. 
But this is just I a basic cheese ball. DDD. Don't buy them at the grocery English. store anymore. I want to, though. Make them yourself. So, to our stand mixer, we have one cup shredded. I just realized why Dave's intros feel so familiar to me. It's just like RGRs. Is it? Is it the same song? Is it the same song? Oh no, is it the same? It's the, is it? No, it can't be. No, it can't be. Please, no, it can't be. Is it similar? Is it the same? It's not, oh. Oh, thank God, I wouldn't have been able to handle that. I would have had to just stop. That would have been too funny. It's just really similar. It's royalty free stock music. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Yo, Rad, thank you so much for the AED 100. Thank you so much. Let me. $27.22 US cents. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that for the 100 dirhams. Thank you so much for the 100 dirhams. You've been sitting here thinking it's RGR's theme? Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> I really want to, Axe DDD. Yeah. And sharp cheddar cheese. One yes, please come in. Hi. Hi, what's up? Oh, was I screaming too loud? Yeah, I've been, I've been, I, I probably have caused some, um, some local incidents by screaming my show out. Hi, Yodi. Hi, Yoda. Watch this. Watch this, everybody. Come here, Yoda. Yoda. Come on, Yoda. Hold on, wait. Let's put, let's put you up on the big screen. Hold on. Come on, Yoda. Come on. Come on. Come on. Up, 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 up. Yoda. Yoda, 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 Yoda. Ready? Hey, come here. Come here. Ready? singing you like to sing huh yeah. yeah you like singing yeah you even know you even know the words singing time sing yoda yoda sing yoda sing yoda sing 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 oh she's distracted by the plate now yoda sing look at that look at that you're so good you're such a good girl oh my goodness i love you so much you're so good all right go on we got to get back to the dave's cooking show love you love you Okay, I gotta figure out the camera angle. Oh, she knows. She knows. She knows you love her. I know. I tell her all the time. Shall we continue? We must go. Thank you very much for the becoming a YouTube member. Thank you so much for that. Really appreciate that. Let's continue. Cup shredded Swiss cheese, and you have to get the cheese from the blocks. You can't use the pre-shredded shit. Otherwise, okay, it will not come together in a cohesive ball. That is correct. Yes. Pre-shredded pre -shredded cheese is usually lightly dusted with something like um, like uh, cornstarch or flour in order to get it to not clump together. It will actually fuck things up. Hey. Okay, Eddie. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. Just know about that. Yeah. It's often literal wood shavings. Is it? Really? Wait, for real? What the fuck? Or cellulose. Oh, cellulose, yeah. I guess that is wood shavings, technically. Anyway, let's continue. Because the pre-shredded stuff is basically got a additive. I forget what it's called. It's not harmful, though. <gasps> Did he learn that from me? I've yelled at him about that before. Did he learn that from me? Maybe he does know. Maybe he does. Oh my god. Thank you, Piftle Cakes. The cellulose is in bread too. It's like 2% wood. Yeah, yeah. He knows. He fucking knows. Let's continue. Uh, which basically prevents the cheese from sticking together. That's why I don't use pre-shredded cheese on pretty much anything where I, like, a pasta Wait, bit. he's improving. He's improving. He's a, oh, first K, and now Dave? Yeah. 
Yoda can figure out that thousands of people think Yoda's the best dog. I don't know if she'd be able to handle it, but we'd definitely at least show her. We'd at least have her come out and say hi. Longbong Silvers, thank you so much for the tier two sub. Really appreciate that. Let's find out. Or something of that nature. Now, uh, while what you see me uh, do here is struggle against a eight ounce pack of cream cheese mm. that we're going to add in as soon as my dumbass gets the goddamn thing open. Oh, Dave. <laughs> All right, we got our cheeses in they there. We it. also, Dude, I just, also added. He, wait, why? <laughs> why did he leave it in? He didn't need to leave that in. He could have just cut it two seconds earlier. Instead, he just chose himself the dropping the cheese. cheese oh that no! We're going to add in as soon as my dumbass gets the goddamn uh, thing whoopsies. open. <laughs> All right, we got our cheeses in there. There was no there. reason also, for that to be. He could just cut it earlier. A, I don't know if it wasn't recording at the time or whatever. Uh, two tablespoons of fresh chives, two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, a half True a teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon okay, of Okay, this is the thing: is Dave talks like an Amer like he talks like the quintessential American dullard. Everything that he says is like beer. He literally, he says everything like he's vomiting every word or belching every word. He's like, my dumb ass. It's like, it's like if a frog, like a large frog tried to learn how to speak English. I like my beers. I don't think that's just being drunk either. Powder and... We also have some uh, chopped up pecans, but those come in later. So basically what you want to do is uh, mix this up on a medium speed till a basically a paste forms. As you can see, I've added the chives and now basically, like I said, you want to mix this till essentially it's a pasty, malleable ball. It should have the consistency of, I guess, Play-Doh. Okay, this is kind of important. Uh, you need a piece of wax paper to do this. And then, basically, you just want to roll the uh, cheese mix into a ball. Am I being trolled right now? Are we being trolled? Just make the cheese into a ball. I thought there was something more to this. Okay, and the wax paper will actually form an important function uh, later on, too. Okay, now we got our cheese in a ball. Now, at least a quarter cup of finely chopped pecans, quarter cup to a half a cup. And then just roll the cheese ball around uh, and coat it to oh. your liking. I thought he was making cheese balls, not um, not like those giant shitty cheese balls. Oh my, oh my god. Okay. Okay, I get it. I get it now. It's a big ball. I thought he was making like like little cheese balls, the one that nobody touches. Yeah, no party ever has anybody ever eaten one of these. Nobody ever eats the cheese ball. They're, they're fucking inconvenient. And really, that's it. The, How are you the, supposed the... to eat it? How are you supposed to eat the cheese balls? How the fuck are you supposed to eat it? They're always... Listen. At every single party, the room will be either so cold that it will break any cracker that you attempt to dip into it. Or so hot that the ball just melts and fills up the thing in the middle. With crackers? No, the crackers just break. Use a knife? You think you can just have knives sitting around at a party? That's how people get stabbed. That's how people get stabbed. You can't just have knives at a party. Scoop it with a butter knife? Maybe. True. True gay fish. Hmm. All right. Well, let's continue. Let's find out what else Dave has in store for us. Okay. Last step of this, it requires no human thought. 
Take a piece of <laughs> wax paper, tie it on up like this, and leave in the fridge for at least 12 hours up to 24. <laughs> I did 24. Ultimately, I gave up on the plastic bag. But, uh, yeah, that's it. That's how you make a cheese ball. So, before you spend $7 to bring one to the next office party, just make it yourself. It's really that easy. He didn't say... Wait, did he say done? That's how you make a cheese ball. Wait. So, before you spend 7 bag. But, uh, yeah, that's it. That's how you make a cheese ball. He didn't say done. The video didn't... The video's not over. He didn't say done. No! He always says done. Oh, no, he's giving up. He didn't say done. All right, let's... This is the one we've been waiting for. All right, here we go. This is the Pizza Hut Bacon Mac and Cheese. Those seem terrible. Okay, Those okay, knives seem terrible. Dave's cooking show for you today. We Vor have buddy. a retro recipe. And this one is probably one going to be... What type of party are you going to where the people there can't be trusted to not stab others? Listen, that's between me and the party attendees, okay? One of the easiest ones. Uh, it's Pizza Hut's Bacon Mac and Cheese. I don't know why... This is Skyrim continue. music. He's playing Skyrim music. Oh, no. But it has... Li it's little more... <laughs> Silent says, Maybe Dave's refusal to ever edit out his mistakes is a sign of his ascribing to Cinema Verite. <laughs> yes, he's... He, listen, this is... His, his entire channel is actually a work of art. The fact that he doesn't clean up the disgusting stains and leftover pieces of plastic over here, the fact that there's like literal like creatures a... growing on his stove and on his grill, absolutely. It's his devotion to his filmic vision, for sure. Absolutely. I think you're right. The basic bacon mac and cheese with rotini pasta. So in this pot here, I have about 12 ounces of bacon that we're going to fry up. Okay, in the same pot that we made the bacon, we're going to melt about three tablespoons of butter. And before some smartass brings up, brings it up, yes, that is just about a half a stick of butter. A half a stick of butter is only four tablespoons. Then it is time to add our flour, about three tablespoons okay. of flour. And you want to stir this constantly. Yeah. Let me guess, someone stole your sweet roll. Let me guess, someone stole the rest of your stick of butter. Because what are we doing? Well, with all mac and cheese, you gotta make a roux. But make sure to knock over a beer bottle while you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Silent, you're right. It is cinema verite. Oh no, it is. <laughs> he spills the beer. Every time it's better. An otter. We've been playing. That is very important to mac and cheese. Knock that motherfucking beer bottle over. <laughs> Thankfully, it was empty. All right. Okay, and now that our empty. roux's made, you want to add somewhere between four and six ounces of mild cheddar and four and six ounces of sharp cheddar. Uh, I'm leaving it up to interpretation. Make it as cheesy that as you like. That is so much cheese. That is so goddamn much cheese. What the fuck? And then you just basically stir this. Um... <laughs> Me making grilled cheese when I'm high. Yeah, hold on. Do you just, it's time for grilled cheese at 3 a.m. Do you just like go into your basement and roll up a, like a, a fucking six foot diameter wheel of cheese and just plop it between like literally two sheets of flatbread that are like the size of your fucking couch? <laughs> oh my fucking God. <laughs> 
If you if you heat it too quickly, your house just overflows with literal cheese. Oh my god. Adding liquid until you get the consistent. I just I, okay. I'm really waiting to hear in the background. Huh. Oh, huh. take that! Hm. I fought mud crabs tougher than you. In the background, stop right there. Hm. Heard any good rumors lately? No. What about you? Spare a coin for a beggar. And see that you want. Now, I decided to start off with a little bit of beer, just to get kind of that uh, beer cheese flavor going, and then I switched it up to milk. And if I had to guess, that was probably a quarter cup of beer, and I probably did somewhere between a quarter cup and a half a cup of milk. This really does not have any sort of hard and fast measurements to it. Just kind of keep stirring it till... Have you heard of the high elves? Your cheese sauce is the consistency you like. Mal. Okay, now it's uh Mal. time to add our spices to this. And probably gave it about oh black ten or twelve pepper? turns of the old That's black your pepper spice? mill. And some salt, I'd say about a teaspoon. Salt but and pepper certainly is not more or less spice, to your dude. liking. Dude. And then uh, I added some Montreal steak seasoning for the hell of it. Oh, come and on! That's... Montreal steak seasoning? <laughs> I guess we're just going to, to add some fine herbs to this. The Montreal steak seasoning. He uses the Montreal steak seasoning in every fucking video. Every single video he used that fucking steak seasoning. Every fucking video. It's always the steak seasoning. Pretty much it. Okay, that's one pound of rotini, cooked al dente, and I usually knock off 45 seconds of the al dente package recommendations. That is our <laughs> cheese sauce, fully made to the yeah. consistency. I did add just a bit more milk before I put this in. Wait, he said it differently. Wait, listen, he says it differently. He said it differently sauce fully made to the consistency i did add just a bit more milk okay the first time he said milk and this time he said distinctly milk what's going on here i don't play with anything i hate the fucking main story of skyrim it sucks fuck skyrim before i put this in uh the baking tray also, I re-added in the bacon as well that was fried up. So, uh, basically, you just want to give this uh, a good stir. Make every sure the cheese is coated. And preheat your oven to about 400 degrees. Because we're going to pop that motherfucker in. Okay. Now, we've got our mac and cheese. Okay. That is not mac and cheese. That is cheese dough. Okay. Now we've got our mac and cheese in our glass baking dish. The oven is preheated to 400 degrees. I know this might look really, really thick, but remember, this is going to be a baked mac and cheese, meaning that kind of thick sauce, cheese sauce cheese that we have dough. around it, <laughs> it's going to loosen up quite a bit. Now... Just because you can never have too much cheese. Uh, more mild uh, cheddar as a topper. I don't know if burger or a pizza. Really? Really? I really, I really, really don't think it needs more cheese. I really don't think it needs more cheese. I think the one thing that this dish has enough of is cheese. I'm sorry, but I just, it's just a feeling, okay? Hut, excuse me, did this or not? Yeah, if he eats this, by the way, he probably eat, ate this entire thing by himself. This guy is go he, This guy will not shit until the fucking heat death of the universe. This guy is going to die with this casserole in his stomach. I'm not kidding you. Just so you know. Like, this is going to become a new organ. 
I don't really give a shit. It's my of version two, two. of it. So fuck it. There it is. And you want to add a dusting of breadcrumbs. Just try to get it all over as much as you can. And if you... That isn't breadcrumbs. That's fucking bread dust. Dude, that's sand. That is beach sand. That's fucking beach sand. That is not breadcrumbs. You've got to be fucking kidding me. That's fucking sand. How long has it been since he last posted? Let's find out. 10 hours ago. Oh shit. Right now, Dave has a has a a, a stone in his gut. This was posted 10 hours ago. Can and if you make a big clump and spread it out a little bit. And last but not least, this is just to make the crust more a little- More cheese? He's adding more cheese? Crispier, a generous dusting of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. If you use that shit in a can, I'll shove it up your ass. Then pop it in an oven, and that's it. 20 minutes. He used and thanks past. to the magic of cooking show editing. I'm getting, I'm unironically getting a stomach ache watching this. This is gone. You get this wonderful, bubbly, gooey mess of goodness. And that's it. Pizza Hut's bacon mac and cheese brought back to life. He didn't say done again. This is a cry for help. He's He has said done. I like your video style with voiceover. Keep things moving along. Now where's my green can of cheese? Wait, I want to see what the comments on the Tuna Club were. I had to get that awful taste of that vegan woman filling an elementary school out of my mouth. This video restores my faith in humanity. Yeah, we'll watch that next. Let's watch that. Let's watch that video that was sent. I was sent a video that's supposedly a good meme. Let's watch it. Shall we? Is this a good one? Is it going to be good? This better be good. Elak, I trust you because you're a good memer, but if this sucks, I'm going to be so mad. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. All right, this is a pickle eating video. Gonna go get me a hot pickle. Yeah. Ow. Okay. Yes! 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 Hot pickle, hot pickle, hey. Yeah! Are y'all happy for me? I got a picky. <laughs> Woo! I'm so excited to eat my hot pickle. Nigga, these mugs slap! Well, there goes the VOD. <sighs> oh, this makes me so mad. I could have said, oh, I could have, I could have dropped a tactical T slur earlier. Now we got to delete it anyway. We made it so far. All my effort, 10 hours of streaming and holding back, dropping a tactical F slur and a tactical T slur undone, undone. Oh, Elak. I'll never trust chat again. Elak, more like Elak <laughs> with three Ks. No! More like, more like Elak. I'm slandering you. Hey, don't make that joke, okay? Listen, Elak is, is... Elak, Elak is 13 and a half, okay? Come on. That is a joke. That is a joke, everybody. That's a joke. Well, here's what we learned. All right. Ugh. Well, it's okay. We have other treats for everyone, okay? Okay, I have another thing for us, okay?
guess what we have? Guess what? We have the very first ever cake. K's Cooking did a cake. Poggers! K's Cooking did a cake. We get to see K attempt a cake and a pie. Good night, Polly Tacos. Thanks for, for hanging out. I think today was an absolutely amazing stream. Now let's watch K. Let's do it. I love K. We love K. I'm so happy. Hi, people, and I'm back cooking again. And today I'm going to be making a cake. A cake. Right, as you can see, I've got four ounces of flour in itself. Ounces? Ah, I love it. Ounces. It's like eggs. Raising flour. I've got four ounces of sugar. And I've got four ounces of marge. And I'm going, I know, I know you say I'm not very good, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to tap the, oh God, watch it. I'm having to go. Oh, that's a lot easier. So that's one eggy. Ugly pie! Two eggies. Right, now I know a lot of people have said, oh, your mixer eggy. looks eggy. old, but while it's still going, I ain't going to fix it. Oh, for God's sake. Might be wise to switch the electric on. I'm going to mix this in, all in, and then I'm going to gently... some milk. I'm going to use all the milk. She's doing it too. She said milk and then milk. Two. Two. What is this? Are we being trolled? Is this a glitch in the matrix? Hey, ugly pie. I haven't, I haven't cracked any heggies. Actually, let's be real. K cracked two heggies in this video. You don't even know. I probably cracked so many eggs today. Talking about trans stuff and trans pride. Different type of egg. Still cracked them. Keep mixing it until all the milk is gone. And, uh, <laughs> last bit. That's it. And I'm going to mix all that in. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on a faster speed. Now, you won't be able to hear me, so I'm going to turn the camera off. Because, well, like I said, you won't be able to hear me. As you can see, I'm pouring the mix into the tin. You're right, but... Good night, Wooly. Okay. Okay, listen. Honestly, minus destroying that bowl, which that mixer was... was that's good. That was going to destroy the bowl. I'm sorry. That mixer was destroying the bowl. That bowl is going to be dead. But aside from destroying the bowl and perhaps picking up a couple of plastic shavings, this is pretty decent so far. So far, I mean, I'm impressed. Maybe Kay is better at baking than she thought. Oh. As you can see, I'm going to Move it all the way around so it all rises evenly. Probably won't do, but... And I'm going to put this in the oven. Ooh, ooh. Oh, okay, good. I think 150. Or oh, could be 120. I don't even... I can't even see the markings. Nah. But uh, I'm going to put it in the oven and it's going to have... Tre Lady Kelgana, yes, I know. Yes, I know. It's so bad. I'm glad you're out of it now. It's so fucking bad. 20 minutes, but I will check it after 10 minutes and hopefully... Okay, so here's the problem. She Okay, Kay, here's, a, here's my first problem with this video. Kay needed to use a bigger spatula or something else that was wider to spread this evenly. These spots are going to fuck with the consistency of the cake. The, in, the unevenness of the cake batter is going to um is going to severely inhibit the ability of this cake to be cooked correctly when it's finished when it's cooked i will show you the end product 
and that is the end product of okay. a cake. And here is the taste test. Oh! Freddie Mercury shirt! She's got a Freddie Mercury shirt! Pug! How perfect! What perfect timing! We we fuck we love Kay so much. Aesthetic resonance with the tier three sub. Thank you very much. Hey, Demon Mama, I've been following your content for a while now. I just want to say the streams and memes are a vibe, and I hope you keep going strong. You know I'm going to keep going strong. I ain't going anywhere. I ain't going fucking anywhere. I'm going long and strong, baby. Thank you very much for the tier three sub. Really appreciate it. It tastes like a cake. There's nothing more I can say. <laughs> Uh, what do you mean? Be, it tastes just like a cake. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's like when she said it tasted like a an egg. Link in the description to my merch. And if you allow what you see, please keep viewing me. Oh, you know what to do. I just fed up again it messed up. So confidence. You yes. K confidence. You don't need a fucking outro. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, and comment. Oh, I love it. The confidence. Oh, it makes my heart scream. Always be girl bossin. That's what I'm talking about. APGB. Yes. APGB. Always be girl bossin. You all know what to do. Thank you. Bye. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hold on, I got a comment every time. Okay, the imps and I loved this video, especially the confidence in saying, you know what to do at the end. And I'm going to put smiley faces. You're amazing, and we love you. We love your cooking very much over here at, over here in, wait, over here with Demon Mama and the Imps. We love your cooking very much over here. There we go. Okay, the imps and I love this video, especially the confidence in saying, you know what to do at the end. True. Wait, hold on a second. True. We know to like and subscribe. K's cooking. You're amazing and we love your cooking very much. Yeah. Don't forget to ring the little bell. Oh, yeah. I'm a member of K's cooking. Like, I'm an actual patron of K's cooking. So good. So good. Oh, yeah, I gotta say we love your shirt. Also, we love your Freddie Mercury shirt. So great. There we go. Bam. Double comment. Double comment. God bless. God bless. Wow. All right, that was fucking amazing. Okay? That was incredible. I fucking love it. Oh, so good. So goddamn good. So goddamn good.